Hey, I have this integral from the MIT integration B 2019. This was problem number eight. So we have a complicated integral from infinity to zero. And let's see what we can do with this. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to notice is the similarity to the Gaussian integral. So we have these two formulas. This looks pretty similar to what we have in the numerator here. Um, you'll notice the big difference here. This, is, this first formula is going from infinity to the negative infinity whereas our integral is going from infinity to zero. This second formula is gonna be more useful in this case just because it's gonna match our limits of integration. And you'll notice it's just half of the first one because this is an even function. And so when you change the limit from zero to infinity for an even function, you just get half of that function. So now everything I'm gonna do with this is to try to get it to match this formula. And so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do a u substitution. We really wanna clean up this bit so it looks something we, we're going to do like a, if we do a u substitution, we're going to want this to be like my, uh, negative u squared, and then it'll be exactly this over here. So what we'll do for that is I'm going to call u equal to the square root of 2019 over 2t. And just by doing that, just to make it clear, you'll notice that u squared is actually 2019 over 4t squared. Next, we'll find our du value. So that's going to be, we're going to have the same constant value, square root of 2019 over two, but then we're just going to have a negative sign from this derivative and a t squared, dt. Then let's just solve this for dt. Okay, so now we can make our substitution, but first we're going to need to update our boundary, um, our limits on the integration. So we'll do that, we'll plug in, essentially plug in infinity here we're really looking at the limit of this, but you'll notice that this value is going to go, if you put infinity in for t, this expression is going to go to zero. So we're going to have a zero here. And then if you put a zero in here, this is going to go to infinity. So just kind of informally looking at those limits, we'll have those change of boundaries. Then this piece right here is minus u squared. So we're going to have an e to the minus u squared over our t squared. And then we're going to substitute in for our dt with this value. So it's going to be minus 2t squared over the square root of 2019 du. Our t squared is going to cancel. We can take this piece out front of the integral, but we'll use the minus sign to reverse the boundary. So let's just rewrite all that. So now we've brought all this constant values out front, outside of the integral. And what you'll notice is this piece right here, our integral, now matches this formula exactly. You notice it's a different variable, but for a definite integral, the variable name doesn't matter. We could use any variable we want. So we know that this piece right here, this value is gonna be square root of pi over two. So then all we need to do to finish this off is we just need to multiply this times our square root of pi over two. So we're gonna have two square root of 2019 times square root of pi over two. Our twos are gonna cancel, so we'll write our final answer as square root of pi over 2019. And that's it, we're done. That was MIT 2019, problem number eight. Thanks for watching, please like this video and subscribe. Have a good day.